Last year I did a overview video of my video game collection. The stuff I went over were a bunch of figurines, collectibles, game consoles, and probably the biggest attraction of all, the arcade collection. Today I'm going to do a more in-depth detailed video of the arcade collection, talk about each one of the machines, the collectibles, and what makes this collection cool. So the first game here is a multi-cade, a 16 one Now I got this cabinet a couple years ago. It was a Dodge City casino game and I got it broken and so everything in it was just complete junk. I replaced the glass with a plexiglass uh, measurement that goes along with the monitor. The monitor itself is a CRT PC monitor running on VGA with the 60 in one board, which I threw in here. The next one here is a Street Fighter Multicade. And this is the first arcade cabinet I ever got. And I have done a number of modifications on this cabinet. It was originally a Zaxxon cabinet that was gutted and empty when I got it. I put in an old school VGA CRT monitor for the classic feel and put in a Raspberry Pi 3. As you can see, there's no door, but I do have one here that I got a replacement. Sometime this summer, I'm gonna paint it black, patch it all up, and uh, try to make the bottom part of the cabinet more original again. Again, I got this when I was 15 years old, had no idea what I was doing at first. But I am happy with the setup. The XRK tank stick is a wonderful controller and the Raspberry Pi has a bunch of cool emulators to play all your favorite arcade games, Nintendo, Sega, you name it. The next here is my personal favorite. This is a 1981 Donkey Kong arcade game. The control panel is all original, has some minor dings, but for an old school arcade cabinet, I don't mind it. The cabinet also has a high score save kit, so you can see some of my high scores, but if you hold player one and player two down, you can also switch to a mod called D2K Jumpman Returns, which is a much harder version of Donkey Kong. Next to the Donkey Kong is a 1964 Riverboat Pinball. This is a very old school pinball game and pretty rare. The game was made by Williams, but there's another game called Riverboat Gambler, which was a much more common game back in the 1990s. This used to belong to my great uncle and he was gracious enough to pass it down to us. Here in the corner where we got a couple cool posters and signs are my Pac-Man and Galaga units. These are by Arcade 1UP, who makes a lot of cool home arcade products. Unfortunately today, many of their machines are kind of expensive, and in my opinion, not worth buying. I was able to get these two for a good deal back in 2018, but unfortunately things have changed. Next to these is a whole shelf of arcade-related memorabilia. We have a Donkey Kong Mini Coleco arcade model. We got a Pac-Man here. We got a Frogger and another Pac-Man. Under that, we have a Coleco Zaxxon model and a Family Guy Stewie Pinball Mini arcade game. We then have Coleco's Alien Attack, which was one of their first home arcade games. We have these little Frogger and Miss Pac-Man home arcade toys, as well as this retro mini arcade with 240 games. And we got this really cool Galaga My Arcade model and this really cool classic baseball. Below that, we have a couple of Atari 2600 games, many arcade platformers. And last are these plug and play game units, which a lot of them house arcade games, such as the Pac-Man series, Frogger, and even Atari. Above this arcade memorabilia shelf is even more merch, including this Pac-Man LED night clock. Right above it is a box for one of the Coleco Pac-Man arcade units, and even more collectibles. So some people would see this as a weird, unusual hobby, but my family and I, we love it. And I hope you love this video too.